Jalen Shared again for Buskis and welcome back to another Let's Watch of DBX. Finally. I've been waiting for it to come back for so long now. This episode is Iron Man vs. Mega Man X. Now, I apologize if I sound really quiet. Uh, I am extremely tired. I literally woke up like a half hour ago and just decided to stay in bed. So this is my first time getting out of bed this uh, this morning, just so I could watch this. Now, in case it wasn't pointly obvious, I am a big Iron Man fan. In case it wasn't obvious. Oh yeah, and there's also that thing over there. Uh, I also have uh, an Avengers thing right up there. I have uh, Avengers and Iron Man stuff on the wall over there. And I have a, an Iron Man uh, poster on... Uh, a door to my de to my desk. I also have this tiny little Iron Man figure. I could go grab one, but I'm not going to. Um, as for X, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really have that much care for X. Um, I mean, I like him. He's okay, but comparing X to classic Mega Man is unfair to X. Whatever. So, so in case it wasn't obvious, I am so rooting for Iron Man. Um, uh, I, I am aware that X would beat Tony if it was actually researched, but yeah. So without further ado, let's just get started. This DBX is brought to you by Blue Apron, the service that delivers fresh food right to your door, along with perfectly proportioned ingredients so you can whip it up in the kitchen and feel like a master chef. You can even log into their website and pick the meals that suit your taste, like the mushroom and chipotle pepper enchiladas. Don't just take my word for it. Get three meals free with free shipping by heading to blueapron.com forward slash DBX. That's blueapron.com forward slash DBX. Not my type of thing, but okay. Ah, I've been waiting for this. Probably can use that old poster on the right arm. I've got this. Wow. Yeah, really, he's just gonna come back. Business calls, so let's make this quick. Let's see who really has the better toy, shall we? Here we go! As for the fight itself, it was alright. But the one thing I don't like about it is that it was it was all X. And was, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's because the animator just 
did that by accident, or, or if he did it, if he did it on purpose, that's a huge mistake. If he did it on purpose, it shows that it shows that he probably just doesn't like Tony. You gotta give both characters your their credit in in fights like this, especially no research fights. Whatever, the fight itself was alright. It wasn't it wasn't the best DBX I've ever seen. Um, if Iron Man had gotten a little bit more credit and it was a little bit more uh, quick paced, uh, then it would be really good. Like I'm not even all that upset that Tony lost. I mean, I'm I'm obviously I absolutely am upset because Tony's my one of my favorite characters ever. Um, but it gets even worse when both characters, when, when, when only one character got their credit and he won. It's, 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 it's worse than one character getting his credit and then, and then the other character winning like, uh, Terry Bogard versus John Talbain. Like that one, it was all Terry, and then John won. This one, it was all X, and then and and then he won. And yeah, like I said, it felt a little bit slow. Not slow like. Not slow like Mega Man versus Astro Boy slow, but it was. It was it was pretty slow. Um, um, I did like the clash between the super powered uh, X. I don't remember. I don't know what it's called. And the Unibeam. I thought that was really good. Um, uh, Iron Man didn't use the proton cannon. That's another thing. I guess that's more of a nitpick. But I just would have liked to see Iron Man use the proton cannon. I don't. I'm, I'm not gonna say that means that that X should have should have won should have lost, but um, so yeah, give both the credits, give both the characters credit, and have it be a little bit more quick paced. Then we could get some really good stuff out of DBX. Because again, this wasn't bad. This was still really good. <laughs> Like it wasn't like sl it wasn't slower than molasses, but but it wasn't it wasn't flash speed. It wasn't flash speed or even quicksilver speed. Um, I mean, you have such fast characters like the. You know, I mean, they're not like known for their speed, but they are pretty dang fast. Um, like when you have characters that are that fast, like this is nowhere near as good as. Iron Man's woman in melee. Um, but I don't, I don't regret watching it. It just, it also, again, another nitpick, but it could have been a little bit longer, I thought. But, whatever. The length itself is perfectly fine, I just was hoping for more. Um, so, give both credit, give both credit. Make it a little bit more faster paced, and give both uh, more of their abilities. Then, two D DVXs could really work, I think. Like no one gives much crap about the the results. At least I don't think. Um, uh, because it's DBX, they don't do research. Just ask Spider Man versus Mikasa. Uh, anyways, um. Uh, yeah, so I guess I don't have a whole lot more to say. Um, it was a good fight, but it wasn't anywhere near as, but I don't know if I would consider this better than yesterday's Woman in Melee. I'll have to think about that. Uh, so yeah, so that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all later.